All right, you can see here I have layered on my scales all the way up to the fish head part that we colored. Um, at this point, I wanna show you, this is the time where you could add, remember those fin shapes that were underneath there that I told you not to worry about? Go ahead and cover them up. Well, now is the time where we can add some fins if you'd like. Um, this is kind of an optional step, um, but if you want to, um, you can just make them out of scrap paper or out of a, some of the, your extra tissue paper. I'm gonna show you how to do it with this. Um, I am going to make it be a couple different layers, so I'm gonna fold it up. Um, but again, this is kind of a thing where you just kind of experiment. You have lots of paper. Um, you could use, you know, some scrap paper you have laying around um, your house or, again, aluminum foil looks really cool or, I don't know, pages from the phone book or anything, you know, any kind of paper you want. Um, but if you want to use tissue paper, just grab you a square. If you want to have a couple layers folded up like I just did, and then cut you a shape that's almost a triangle, except I'm going to not make this a point right here. I'm going to slide over a little bit and do that. That gives us kind of a fin shape. Okay. Um, again, if you want to try something else, Go for it, you know, experiment. Get you, cut some different shapes, see what you like. And I'm just gonna glue mine like right about there. You can see here, I've got one glued in. I did kind of change the shape of mine a little bit. I experimented and I decided I didn't want just that straight edge there, so I cut it a little curvy. Again, it's just scrap paper, so experiment. And I'm gonna glue mine in underneath one of my layers of scales here so I'm gonna go right here put a little dot of glue and just stick that in underneath there like so so then it looks like they're just poking out from underneath the scales 